Casas, Calispera. Good afternoon. This is Metsovo in the Pindus Mountains of the Epirus region of northwestern Greece. Today is May 18th, a Saturday, 2024. It is currently 64 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 18 degrees Celsius. So there is the uh, main square area down there. I'm going to uh, walk down here and then walk past some uh, good smelling restaurants and also show these kind of interesting uh, steps here. Kind of like modern futuristic style stairs, I guess. So I wasn't planning on stopping in Metsovo today. It had been recommended previously, but I am making progress coming from Parga on the Ionian Sea. Just drove about an hour and a half from there and am headed to the palace of Aigai or Virgina, which is the palace where Alexander the Great was crowned king. in the 4th century BC. We will be learning much more about that once I get there. But uh, as I was driving down the uh, freeway, it's like this, you know, ultra modern, nice uh, freeway all across central uh, Greece, then I saw signs for Metsovo and realized that it was right along the way basically and so decided to stop and I'm glad that I did. Really lovely uh, mountain town here. Great looking restaurants. Definitely has that old timey feel. Also touristy, lots of uh, buses there, gift shops, etc. I'm not going to spend much time here. Just want to uh, do a little walk through. Give a little taste of it. So I've been seeing a lot of reference to bears in the course of this uh, road trip, including road signs warning of wildlife with images of bears. Haven't seen an actual bear yet. That would be amazing, especially if I was inside my vehicle. But uh, I guess they are around up in the mountains here. Just absolutely gorgeous scenery and so it's another two hours to Alexander's palace not sure if I will stop to see anything along the way Meteora is not far from here but I've been there before twice on my first trip to Greece in 1990 and then three years ago and I have a video of it on my channel Fifteen eleven to eighteen eighty eight, nineteen fifty eight. Huh. Not sure what this is. Like a mountain lodge or something. Hello. Hello. What is this? A church. Oh, it's a church. I can look inside. Yes. 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 Thank you. But you have to turn off. Uh, you know no filming. No That's okay. So it's really a shame that there was no filming inside there because that was quite possibly the most amazing church I've ever seen. It was incredible. All these, uh, you know, the paintings, but also very ornate uh, decorations. Hard to describe, but it was just absolutely jam-packed with all kinds of different uh, paintings and things on the walls. It wasn't that big or anything, but uh, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was a little dark in there, so you wouldn't have been able to see too much anyways. But, uh, I talked with those girls a little bit. And one had just been to Alexander's Palace a couple days ago on a school group, so... I actually asked her, how do you pronounce it? The Palace of Aigai. And she didn't know, so... I guess it's a tricky one, unless you're maybe from that area or something. So a little uh, market here seems to be wrapping up. Maybe it was going more in the morning. 
And so I think that I am just going to get back to my car, which is right down here, and uh, keep on cruising. And so it's a freeway, basically, most of the way getting to uh, the palace there, another couple hours. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to make any more stops along the way, but uh, it's certainly possible. But uh, it is going to be a quite amazing and historical experience by the sounds of it, seeing this palace. It is really one of a kind. And I will mention I am still dealing with this uh, head cold, pardon my voice. It's not that bad or anything, but it's just kind of persistent and annoying. But uh, hoping that warm sunshine and the coming expedition to the Greek islands, jumping in the sea and all that will uh, get rid of this sometime fairly soon. There's my car. Let's do it. So in the process of driving out of town, I just came across a sign for a 13th century monastery just down a little path here. So let's take a look and also get a little more of a taste of the uh, country life. It is a gaggle of chickens or whatever you call a bunch of chickens. And a nice looking garden. A flock of chickens? No? Church of Theotokos and Monastery of Theotokos Koimesis. I really hope this one is open so we can look inside. I have no idea how much of a walk it is. It could be five kilometers or something. Probably not. Wow. Cute, uh gate there. Man, the green is just absolutely unreal. Perfect timing to experience it in its full green glory being the middle of spring. Huh. Well, this might be a little bit of a walk. Oh, I think, well, I see a building there. Could be it. Amazing, uh, very, very old style stone path. Yeah, that must be it. Right next to the uh, creek as well. I can hear it rushing away there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is actually looking quite remarkable. Okay, so is this an active monastery? I haven't seen any signs saying... Well, okay, here we have some signs. In Greek, 3 to 6, 3 to 7, 12 to 3, 2 to 6. I guess it's like days of the week. Looks like, uh, obviously it's locked now. I don't really want to knock because if somebody is actually in there, I probably don't want to uh, bother them saying, Oh, can I poke my camera around? Ah, uh, too bad. Quite a setting. Let's uh, look around the other side. So the other side involves going off the path. Ooh, and there's a uh, little bridge over the river there picnic tables here, so obviously 
to take people to, uh, you know, walk on the grass, but uh, don't want to uh, kind of push it with the uh, exploring. So I think I'll call that uh, good enough. Got a little taste of it. Looks uh, super, super interesting. I would love to uh, be able to see inside, but it is what it is. All right. Let's get on the freeway and cover some miles. And so I have arrived at the Palace of Aiai, and there's various other archaeological sites to see around here. So here is a very brief synopsis, and I'm sure that we will be learning much more. Burgina is best known as the site of ancient Aiai, the first capital of Macedon. In 336 BC, Philip II was assassinated in Aiai's theater, and his son, Alexander the Great, was proclaimed king. In 1977, the burial sites of several kings of Macedon were uncovered, including the tomb of Philip II, which had not been disturbed or looted, unlike so many of the other tombs there. The ancient town was also the site of an extensive royal palace. The most important building discovered is the Monumental Palace. Located on a plateau directly below the Acropolis, this building of two or perhaps three stories is centered on a large open courtyard flanked by Doric colonnades. On the north side was a large gallery with a view of the stage of the neighboring theater and the whole Macedonian plain. The palace was sumptuously decorated with mosaic floors, painted plastered walls, and fine relief tiles. The masonry and architectural members were covered with high quality marble stucco. Excavations have dated its construction to the reign of Philip II, even though he also had a palace in the capital, Pella. It has been suggested that the building was designed by the architect Pythios of Prien, known for his work on the mausoleum at Halicarnassus, I've been there, that is in modern-day Turkey, and for his views on urban planning and architectural proportions. The theater, also from the second half of the 4th century BC, was closely associated with the palace. All right, let's go take a look. Sounds like it's going to be really spectacular. So there's the parking area, and then it's a little bit of a walk. So while I walk along, I wanted to give a little more context as far as the history. So King Philip II was the king of Macedon in the 4th century. And he was a very ambitious king who built a lot of palaces and other uh, monuments. And he also united the various tribes of Greece. So during that time and during much of Greece's history, then it wasn't one country. It was various regions kingdoms, city-states, etc. The borders shifted around a lot over the centuries and millennia. Macedonian tomb. Hello. And so you had the Athenians and the Spartans and the Macedonians, the Cretans, 
I'm not sure if there were Epirinians and Epirus where I was uh, before. And so the Macedonians were considered, at least by the Greeks in Athens and probably in other uh, regions of Greece, kind of considered the barbaric ones and, uh, you know, not so cultured and refined, etc., more kind of warring or whatever. And, well, there was some truth to that, although there was lots of warring going on. But King Philip II attacked and conquered the other uh, tribes of Greece and unified Greece into one nation under his leadership. And then his big mission after that was to push back the Persians because as I talked about in my video about the Battle of Marathon, Marathon, a town on uh, the mainland of Greece, which is the site where the uh, Persians invaded and attempted to conquer Greece, get to Athens, and uh, if they had succeeded, then they could have potentially taken over Greece, and that would have changed the course of world history in a lot of different ways. But at that battle, even though the Greeks were vastly outnumbered, they conquered, succeeded, won the battle, pushed back the Persians. That wasn't the only time that the Persians tried to invade, and so there was this uh, threat that was in the 5th century BC. King Philip II was in the 4th century BC, so this was part of their history. And so King Philip wanted to go to Persia, invade them, take over that land in order to push them further back and remove that threat. But he never got the chance to even attempt that because he was assassinated. And now I forget if the assassination occurred at this site where we're going or if that was in... Oh, that's right. I think I just read it in the theater here. And so he was assassinated here. Alexander the Great, his son, was, I think, 20 years old. And he ascended to the throne upon his father's assassination and became king of Macedon, and thus the rest of Greece. Yes, us. Hello. Where are you from? United States. Whoa. Yeah, and you? Greece. Which from place? Larissa, Trikala. Larissa. Trikala. I see. Great, great. Yes. I've been from city? San Francisco, California. Oh, <laughs> All right. San All right. If I just have a nice day. Maybe he has family there or something. And so, this is where Alexander the Great was crowned king. And then, of course, the reason he is called Alexander the Great is because of what he attempted and succeeded. Sanctuary of Eucleia over the next decade in which he decided to carry out his father's mission of going to the Persians and attacking and he won the battle and won again and won again and continued on a undefeated winning streak for the next 10 years as he moved into Persian territory across Anatolia modern-day Turkey and uh, continued into the Middle East, to Egypt, and then further east into Afghanistan, etc., and eventually got into India, at which point he ultimately decided to turn around and then him and his army began moving back westward, and then ultimately he died under mysterious circumstances in Babylon, I believe, in present-day Iraq. 
possibly a poisoning or a disease, but it is kind of unclear. Okay, the uh, signage around here is not spectacular. I mean, this is like a major tourist uh, destination. So I guess there's also parking here by the looks of it. Anyway, I think that uh, we're just about there. Ancient Theater of Aiyai. So I'm a little confused about the uh, layout of this place. Is this the theater where Philip II was assassinated? There has been no ticket office yet. I'm sure that there will be. So not much uh, left of this. Because uh, this palace that we're going to is apparently three times the size of the Parthenon. So this should be something really, really magnificent. It's just strange how there's like this random dirt road and no signs telling you if you're necessarily going the right way or whatever. But uh, I think this has to be it. And here we are. Enter site at your own risk, so I guess no entry fee. I guess it was larger than the Parthenon when it was fully completed, but it's just kind of a skeletal structure that's left. All right, let's get some more info. Palace of Aiyai. Neither it was, nor it is fair to the most excellent man to create anything else but beauty. Plato. The palace, the theater, and the neighboring sanctuaries are components of Philip II's 359 to 336 BC great building program aimed to reforming and upgrading Aiyai, the royal metropolis of Macedon, thus providing the ideological matrix for the cities of Hellenistic Ecumene. With the monumental temple-like propylon, the impressive two-story porticos, the great peristyle around which are organized the banqueting halls, the sanctuary of Heracles Patros, Heracles, who is the same as Hercules, the ancestral god, the library archive and the smaller western peristyle for auxiliary uses, bath, etc. The royal edifice of Ai was not housing the king's family and private life, but the necessary structures for exercising the royal multi-level public authority. The palace of Ai, the biggest building of classical Greece, so there you go. It was built after the Parthenon, but once built was the biggest building of classical Greece. A clear shaped and functional, but also monumental and imposing edifice is characterized by the luxury of materials, the ingenuity and the perfection of execution, the unexpected achievements of technology detected at all levels. 16 Doric columns, the political agora, or like marketplace gathering area of a democratic city becomes a court and the Greek word aul, aule, court, becomes synonymous with the concept of reign. The royal edifice that begun being constructed in the middle of the 4th century BC was completed before 336 BC when Philip II, celebrating his omnipotence in the high peak of the feast, was assassinated as he was entering the nearby theater. So yes, nearby theater, the one that we saw. I guess that was the uh, place. Wow. And so it was at his daughter's wedding, I believe, that he was assassinated. Okay, so we are there looking at that, and then there are other sites. Main building, burial cluster, Palace, church, obviously church being built after, since this was built B.C., before Christ. In 148 B.C., Metellus legions defeated Philip VI in Pydna and marched on to Aiyai. The royal metropolis of the Macedonians was punished in an exemplary manner. Its defensive walls were demolished, the city was pillaged, and the palace, symbol of Macedonian rule, was condemned to damnatio memori. Its image and memory were to be permanently erased. Plunder and fire were followed by raising, 
Immediately thereafter, the immense edifice fell prey to stone quarrying, which, as it appears, began from the north and the east. Before the end of the second century BC, drums, which used to form the Doric columns that line the stoas of the palace facade, were taken to the necropolis and chiseled away to be used in the construction of a small single-chamber Macedonian tomb, found in 1996.